Welcome back to What RT Nibs for General Disturbance. This is an M41 HMC. It's a Tier 5 American SPG. It's located on the north spawn of Harkov and it's under the command of Sad Phil. Now he saw the channel and thought, oh well, he's got a good replay he could send in. So he sent it. And initially I said, well, I suppose it's not really up to the sort of um, replay that we're actually looking for. But on second thoughts, I thought, well, it would be quite nice actually to have some new replays coming in. And so I'm going to do this one after all. Well, the M41 HMC is basically a 155mm howitzer built on top of a chassis, chassis the M24. And it's actually, well, it's actually quite good provided you can get a good crew. It really does take a lot of work to get a good crew on this RC and then it can be really accurate. And once it is accurate, it's a lot of fun. Well, he's moving off to the far west side of the battlefield, which should give him a little bit of protection because the enemy is now going to have to look for him. And his first target is an AMX 12 ton. And it appears he's using the overhead mode. Obviously, you can use battle assistant, but some people prefer overhead mode. Okay, a couple of targets there, T-3485s. And that's quite good. You need to dial in the rescue until it's nice and tight. And he fires around in and no, it lands ahead. He didn't anticipate the T-3485 was going to pull back. And that one just blew up because he got taken out by T-71. Set on fire. I suppose when you're starting out, really, the key thing to do is to actually... Try and pick targets which you know are going to be stationary or anticipate exactly what they're doing. And there he, he did anticipate the T-3485M was going to pull back and drive to the east. And he managed to land the shell right into the side of him for 248 hit points. And that's a good start. Now he's reloading. He's got a 21.57 seconds reload. He's loaded. Rounds out straight away on the T-67. Wipes him out. 222 hit points, that was a good start. A tank that was hardly moving, made it an easy kill. I mean, I say that <laughs> as an experienced RT player, easy kill, but there again. To people who are starting out in RT, it may seem very, very hard. But once you've actually got the skill, once you've got the practice, it then becomes a lot more easy to do. And that one hit the building. It was very close to the building at the time. And we saw for a brief moment the RT, the enemy RT was sitting behind that bush. Now, it's either an AMX-13 AM or a gorilla. But there's only two left on the enemy team. Oh, it's the AMX-13 AM. Rounds out. Should be a direct hit. It is! And it's a kill! So that's two kills now for Sam Phil. He's doing very nicely. And they found the other RT, which was the Gorilla. And he's backing up there. Unfortunately, um, he's killed. So no chance for a counter battery, which would have been rather nice. Mind you, can't be underestimated the actual worth of getting a good kill, such as that T-67 and the AMX-13 AM. Okay, he stunned the T-3485M and he got hit afterwards, so he picked up some stun assist. I'm waiting for uh, the M10 to come into sight. He was seen in that vicinity. And in fact, oh, we've seen another enemy, or a pair of enemy targets, a T-71 and AMX ELC. They're headed this way. Now he's dialing in as fast as he can. He's about six seconds away, but he fires the round in anyway. And oh, yes, he gets a hit on the T-71. Almost wipes him out, but he does get killed the next second by our IKV. But now we have got incoming. The AMX is headed this way. Oh, he's been killed. That's good. And he wasn't spotted, so he's safe. But he's going to relocate a little just to avoid... Any counter battery if he wasn't seen. Well, actually, there can't be any counter battery because the enemy RT has been wiped out already. But now, 
Next target, T29, C near the enemy cap. Yes, there he is, rounds out. This looks good. Hits the building. Not sure it was fully dialed in. You might notice that I use Aslane's mods and there's a, such a thing as a d aim timer. And uh, that's to the right of the reticule. And it actually has the word, at the moment it says, um, um, reduced is the Russian word that uh, it's actually saying. And that means that it's telling you that you are fully dialed in on the target. It actually does count down until you're ready. And at this moment, it's saying three, two, one. So it's telling you when you're going to be ready. So not just the information on your load that's going to you, but it's also telling you when you're ready to shoot. Well, he's trying to get a shot on that Leo. And I have to presume that Leo is still there. It just can't be seen. There he is. Rounds out. Oh, he pulls away just after we fire. That's unfortunate. But it does happen. Okay, T29 just took out our Crusader and the Steer. Well, he's gone as well. But it's now three versus two. And, well, the good, the good news is for Sam Phil is that he's now going to have a big part in this. Long flight time for the shell. It's 3.3 seconds. You have to increase the lead time when you know you're going to be firing to the other side of the battlefield. Plenty of lead time to ensure that the tank drives straight into the shell. Okay, it's almost ready. We know where he's going. That's it. That might be a bit too late, but we'll see. It did land near where the aim point was. Okay, the Leo's up on the heights now. Using those bushes. They seem a bit uncertain, these enemy tanks. T29 we've lost sight of, so we can't do anything about him. Rounds out. Lands behind him and stuns him. So try and work out where they're headed. Anticipate what they're doing. Dial in ahead of them. You've got a fairly wide arc on the M41, so it does help that um, you can adjust accordingly. There's the Leo, and he's headed this way. Okay, we've adjusted the aim. Still a good six seconds before fully ready to fire, but we fire around in. Oh, yes! And that was a direct hit, but we've lost the chaffy. It looks like now Sam Phil's going to have to move and move quick. Okay, he's reloaded. But that Leo is headed this way. Now, it might be that you'll have to shotgun that Leo when he gets close. Well, he's just over there. He's on the rise. He's probably going to spot us. If we shoot, he definitely will spot us. Red line means he can't shoot. But he's going to pop down any second... He's got a green line now. We've lost sight of him again. And we are in the open, exposed. Can we get this on target? Okay, dialing in. The Leo's just sitting there, near the cap. Here's a one shot if we can get the round on target. And, oh, no, it wasn't a kill, but it badly damaged him. 221, that's a nice shot. And the IKV now can take him out with a single shot, I think. We're reloading. He's in a bit of a, a dip, I think, there. So it's going to be a difficult shot, but he fires. Yes! Rounds out. And that's a kill. And here comes the T29. This is where it gets difficult, because he's 99% health. And the IKV is having to run away as quickly as he can. 
and it's unfortunate the T29 stopped to shoot at him. Can we get a shot at the T29? Anticipate where he's going. Rounds out. Well, 10 more hit points. But we're going to lose sight of him once he goes into the city. Unless, of course, the IKV can see him. Runs out. Oh, just stuns him. It's turning into a bit of a cat and mouse. And the IKV doesn't have much in the way of hit points. He is a one-shot now for the T29. And this can't go on forever. He is bound, especially when he's driving backwards. Yeah, that was anticipated. So now, and that just warns the T29 where Sadville is. So Sadville really does need to move now. He needs to run and try and get away from the T29. Backing up is slow, so you need to move forwards when you're going somewhere. I wouldn't try to conceal yourself. I'd try to run away as far away as you can. And if the enemy starts capping, then you just fire for resets. You could drive towards the enemy cap, or towards your own cap rather, and try and spot him from a distance but then the problem is the moment you shoot he will spot you so if you do try to get a reset there's only three minutes 36 left so if you can get at least one reset or two you might be able to get a defender medal he's just guessing where the uh the T29 is, but that's all you can do if you're firing from a distance. He's only got two rounds of ammo left anyway. Which wouldn't be enough to take down a full T29. No, I don't think he's going to be in that bush. If anywhere, he's going to be that sort of, to the north, just there. Behind that mound, because it's the easiest place to defend. Shells aim towards that spot. They'll probably hit the ground before they hit the tank. But of course, that T-29 could be anywhere within the circle. And this is his last round of ammunition, and he's fired it in, and there's no reset, so he can't win now. The T-29 is going to cap out. Okay, so that's the end of the game. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, yes, it was a loss, but uh, Sadfield did as best as he could, uh, given that he hasn't had this M41 HMC very long. In fact, his number of battles is under 50. And, um, well, he only managed to get a second-class tanker and a bruiser medal. He got 12 critical hits in that one. He only needed five for the bruiser. And his win rate for the game was 3,877, which is very good, actually. In fact, that's super unicum standard uh, in the M41 because it is a tier 5 RT, so not that many people do play it or play it often. Uh, if we look at team score, we can see that he did get the highest damage for his team, 1,823 hit points. The high score on the enemy team managed to get the high caliber and an invader and he got 2365 hit points of damage when it came to kills again it was that t29 he got four kills and then sadfield managed to get three along with the t71 da and the ikv 65 and two tanks on the enemy team as well and when it came to base xp well of course it's that t29 again with 957 the leo was 776 and the t3485 m was 676 so, um, Sadfield only picked up 560. He did get the highest base XP on his team, but it wasn't a win. 22 shots fired, all 22 rounds in the magazine. Six direct hits, one penetration, 16 splash, damage of 1,823 hit points, and all of it was at more than 300 meters. He did damage six of the enemy, kill three of them, and did 168 hit points of damage assist, or stun assist rather, of 14 stuns.
On freed player count, he earned 21,656 credits, and after ammunition resupply, took away 10,546 credits. He received 560 base XP, and there was no multipliers, because of course this was a loss, so that's all he took away. And it's the best game he's had so far, but again, as he said, he's still lost. My suggestions with the M41 is that if you take your time and keep playing it and practicing it, building up the skills of your crew, then your accuracy should improve dramatically. You did get some fairly accurate shots during that game, uh, most notably the one on the AMX 13 AM and of course the T67. So you have got the skill. You just need to practice it again and again and again, and then you will get the results. So uh, keep at it, and uh, eventually you will get wins after wins. And of course, the best thing is that the M41 leads to the M44, which is the best RT in the game, in my book. And you won't, it won't be long before you get that. So uh, have fun. Thanks for watching.